Okay, so we're back in my family room. Joining me right now is Mia St. Obey. Many of you know her as the founder of Parliament Hill Boot Camp. But one of the things that you're big on too is, especially with boot camp, there's no equipment really Nothing. needed. And you like that. You could really move your body anywhere, anytime. It's kind of amazing what you can do and how hard you can work without using next to anything, really. Mm -hmm. A couple pieces of equipment, if you don't have them, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Now, I like this because this workout you call the Energizer <laughs> workout. So I was thinking like, I'm gonna be going like yeah, no. crazy. <laughs> it's gonna be like, whoa. And then it's, it's, it's almost the opposite. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is kind of something for those days where you just don't really feel like it. You couldn't be bothered, you, but you wanna do something. <laughs> okay. You know it's probably gonna be in your best benefit to actually do something, or if you're kind of feeling a little bit tired. You just want to bring some energy in, get your body moving, and be able to have that good feeling of like, okay, I did something today. Okay, so this is a part of your Energizer workout. We're going to follow everything through. It'll have that minute rest, and then you're going to re be repeating this six times. But keeping with that, you need 20 to 25 minutes to get things done, yeah. and you're good. Okay, so we're starting with that static lunge. Definitely. So what you're going to do is take one big step forward. This is something that's really good to remember as a cue, is you're going to bend your back knee first, standing up nice and tall, keeping your core tight, pressing through your front heel, making sure that your front knee doesn't come up over your toe. So you always like to bend first with the back leg. I do. Okay. And if you're feeling like this is tough, it's probably because you're tight in your hip flexors and your quads, so a little bit of stretching is going to be helpful. If you want, you can hold a bar here as well to give yourself a little bit of balance. Then you're going to switch and you're going to do 12 on each side. So the tempo is nice and slow for this, and I like to encourage people to focus on their breath. Nice and slow, up and down. Okay, 12 aside. You got it. And then you're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a bent over row, or upright row, sorry. Okay. And you're gonna grab a band, feet are shoulder width apart, bring your core in, always chest up, shoulders back, and you're gonna lift up, drive those elbows out, and then come back down to your hips and repeat like so. You're gonna do 15 of those, and again, the tempo's nice and slow. Okay, so this isn't something you're doing as a fast paced no. workout. Focus on the breath. Exactly for every time. So this is, helps you to focus on your core while you're breathing. Okay. Make sure you're doing every exercise nice and slow. You could use a light weight, you could use a ball, lots yep. of different things. Anything okay. you have, that's the kind of the main focus. If you had a medicine ball, you just hold it right in front of your chest. Same thing, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay. And then we're gonna go down on the ground. We're gonna do alternating supermans. So, arms out in front. You're gonna lift one, your hand, and then opposite leg. Squeezing your glutes, you're gonna hold. You're gonna come back down and alternate. What you wanna do with your chin is keep it down so that your spine is neutral. You're gonna squeeze and you're gonna do 10 on each side for here. Okay, how far up, I always, where's the head placement as you just said, but how far up are we taking our legs and our arms at the same time? As far as you can. Okay. And I say that because you'll only be able to go so far if you're squeezing your glutes. If you're not squeezing, you can kinda of hyperextend your back, which you don't wanna do. So you wanna make sure you're squeezing emphasis is on your glutes and keeping your shoulders away from your ears, or squeeze in the middle of your back every time. And then you're looking down, as you said. So if you're looking up, your chin's up, your spine is all out of whack, you wanna bring it down to keep your spine neutral. And you were saying 10 per side. Yep. Okay. And then from there, we're still on the ground. We're gonna do regular crunches. So a couple variations. You can always put your hands on your thighs. Reach up, chin to chest, so in a two part. So chin to chest. Reach up as high as you can. You can also put your hands by your head and lift up and come back down. You can do these a little bit faster pace. You just wanna make sure that your neck is not reaching out and leading. I thought my abs were really strong, but I'm realizing <laughs> as you're doing <laughs> these crunches time. That, I'm, that I'm just not there. Maybe right. if I was holding a plank, but my goodness, my crunches are actually quite weak. So this is a great place to start. Come up as high as you can and then come back down. And that's why we do this slow, so you can breathe and you can build up that strength. Okay, and then our last one. More core. So, this is actually a really good movement for digestion if you're doing it nice and slow and you're focusing on your breathing. So you're gonna be all on hands and knees, so all fours. You're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. You're gonna come in your body, you're gonna round your back a little bit, and then you're gonna reach out, squeezing your glutes, nice and slow, breathe in and then big breath out, <sighs> nice and slow, keeping that core tight. And what you wanna try and do, make sure you're not leaning from one side into the other, and then you can do 10 one side, 10 on the other side. Make sure your fist comes right in front of your face, reach up, squeeze your glutes, and repeat. 
Okay, this is done. We would do that. We take a minute rest and we're repeating that entire sequence six times through. Yeah. This is slower paced. Much slower. All right, so it's not like you're gonna be getting out of here kind of dripping in sweat, but your body will feel that energized exactly. feeling from within. Yes, and you wanna leave most of your workouts feeling like that, but especially on this day, you wanna leave feeling good, feeling energized, feeling euphoric, feeling like you can get on with your day, and then maybe tomorrow you do a higher intensity workout. But every day doesn't have to be the same, nor should it be. Okay, more information, miasanobay.com.